Here's how I create consistent multi-shot videos using just one image in a solid prompt. All right, so I wanna walk you through something wild. Everything that you are seeing on screen right now, well, it is completely AI generated. No actors, no camera, just me, one prompt, and one single image. It's a real video, yes, generated directly from a prompt. I did it using the new CDense 1.0 model by ByteDance, and honestly, this thing cooks. It's one of the first models that, that natively supports narrative videos with multiple consistent shots. Like, like the subject stays the same, the lighting and vibe are cohesive, even across different angles or scene transitions. In real talk, you might want to hate me for this, but it really outperforms Google VO3 in almost every single way. Why? Why is this model blowing my mind? Well, first of all, it handles movement really, really well. Whether it is a, a close-up on a facial expression or, or a full-on action scene. Watch this here. How is this AI? Second, it stays stable and realistic, which is very rare for, for multi-shot AI videos. I haven't really even heard of such thing. Multi-shot AI video generators? No, it doesn't exist until today. Number three, the stylistic range, my friend, is crazy. You can go from a photorealistic video to anime to, to um, illustration, all with a single prompt, all with prompt engineering. And yeah, I tried everything from, from cyberpunk close-ups to soft cinematic portraits, and it just gets it. But for this video, I want to focus on how to get consistent multi-shot results, even if you're just starting out from one single prompt or from one single image. First, let's access the model. Let's head over to Enhancer AI, then under the Tools tab, we're going to click the multi-shot editing. You'll see over here two options text to video and an image to video. And we're gonna start with text to video. This uh, model lets you generate five to 10 second clips at 720p. And yes, I'll show you how to actually upscale it later on using Real Rs again to get that very crisp finish, even get that 4K resolution. First, a real quick note on how this works. After testing this model for a few hours, and yes, I locked in my friend, I realized something cool. It actually does understand natural language really well. So you don't have to overthink your prompts. Just write them like you, you're describing a scene to a friend, but make it a bit more cinematic. Use filmmaker lingo, be intentional and specific. I have a free guide in the description that's gonna help you figure out cinematic prompting. If you wanna call it so, just go right there and download it right now. And now this is exactly what gives you precise control over well, camera movement, over pacing, and, and even emotion. Very simple natural language prompts that are descriptive. But also it allows you to run very complex action sequences and multi-character scenes without the usual weird flickering or, or rapping. And honestly, it made me think how we tell visual stories with AI. If in Google VO, you were literally telling the AI to speak something out loud, well, you're doing the same exact thing with Cdance, except you're just telling it to create multiple scenes. But before we go deep into prompt engineering, let's just do a very simple test. Here's a prompt that I'm gonna be using across different models. Cdance, VO3, and Kling 2.1. A close-up soft directional light grazes the side of a woman's face as she sits in silence. Her skin glows gently against the shadows and a single tear clings to her lower lash without falling. In the background, the world is out of focus, still distant fading. So we're gonna paste this prompt inside Enhancer, select a 10 second clip, 720p and hit generate. Should take about two to three minutes. Wow, look at this, like genuinely, like, I, I was not ready for how good this came out. Like the light feels real. It is slow, it is cinematic, it is heavy with emotion. You can feel the, the stillness, the loneliness, even without any dialogue. But well, my note is that I wish that her eyes were blinking a bit more. I know that they're moving left and right. It just seems a bit static to me just to bring out that, that human touch. But even so, it, it still nails the mood. Let's add a soft piano soundtrack over the footage and see if it's gonna give us that, that feel. Beautiful. 
9 out of 10. I love it. So now we're going to head over to Google VO and test the exact same prompt, which by the way, it only gives you an eight second clip versus CDENs that gives you a 10 seconds, only a two second difference. What we're going to do right now is as we've pasted our prompt, we're going to select the quality VO3 over here and click generate. We are inside Google Flow. Let's see what it will come up with. Oh, interesting. It seems like VO well, definitely does a better job at making the character blink. It does blink. It does feel slightly more alive, but but the lighting, the, the composition, and, and, and the general vibe, I might be biased, but it's nowhere near what I got from C-Dance. Um, I feel this one is a bit flatter. It lacks that cinematic feeling. Also, let's not forget that C-Dance is still under the light stage, so it's not fully released. So the full version is not even out yet, and it's already doing this. I am mind blown. Google VO is great still, so I'll rate this a, an 8 out of 10. Now, let's try Kling 2.1. Oh, well, we cannot because Kling, unfortunately, does not allow you, does not support text to video just yet. So that's on hold. We're not gonna be able to test that out right now. Kling, step up your game here. Let me just drop a few more videos so you can see what I've made with C-Dance along with the exact prompts to check out the results for yourself. So we just covered text to video. Now let's get into image to video. You know, this is how it works. Just like most of AI models, you upload a source image and then you add a detail prompt, you hit generate, and the model takes it from there. But here's where it gets fun with C-Dense. You do not need to write a whole paragraph to get good results. Even a simple prompt like the camera pushes in can do a lot. So let's try that with this image we generated earlier using Flux Context inside Context Editing Flow. If you're not familiar with that, well, I invite you to check out my video on consistent characters, which is linked up here. Anyway, upload your image at your prompt, which is the camera pushes in, select your settings and hit generate. Boom. <laughs> wow, here's what we get. Pretty solid, right? Now let's dial it up a bit. Let's try this other prompt instead. Push in, a hooded woman emerges from the mist, her eyes locked on something just beyond the frame. The wind brushes a loose strand of hair across her face. So we paste this over in the prompt section, select our settings, hit generate. Now look at that shot. The, the prompt adherence is wild. The wind literally pushes the strand of hair across her face and also she is looking away from the frame, just like described. The movement, the, the, the light, the atmosphere. Honestly, if you know me in my videos, I don't really hype things up, but this one, it has me shook. Now let's put this to the test and compare this exact same prompt across all other platforms. And here's Google VO3. Here's what it gave us. Mm. Just gonna stay quiet and let you be the judge. I'm not gonna say anything. Can we all agree it looks like a meteor model next to C-Dance? Like, really? This is what you got, Vio. I swear I'm not, I'm not biased. I'm, well, I'm just calling it how I see it. And this is my truth. And I think this model is phenomenal. And it's not even fully out yet. And now this is Clink 2.1. Clink does a very good, very solid job with image to video generation. In fact, I'd say that Clink nails the image quality and is better than all these models so far. But when it comes to maybe prompt interpretation and, and having that that cinematic feel, well, C Dense inside Enhancer still takes the lead. I'll have all three models side by side so that you can decide for yourself what works best for you. All right, so now that we've seen what both text to video and image to video can do, let's cut to the real magic, multi-shot consistent characters. That's what you're here for and I'm about to deliver. 
So how do we actually create multi-shot consistent videos using either text to video or image to video? It all comes down to how you write your prompt. This is where most of the people get it wrong, but once you know the formula, it actually is super intuitive and simple, and you can even train a chat GPT model to do it for you. So let me break it down to you step by step. Step number one, we have to introduce the, the character in the setting. Start with the basics. Who's in the scene? Where are they? Well, you don't need names, you don't need backstories or anything deep. You just give a model a solid foundation. Example, a woman walks alone through a rainy city at night. This is good enough. Simple, straightforward, that, that's all you need. Step number two, describe the shots like a director would. Think like a filmmaker. Use cinematic language. Things like white shot, tracking shot, close up, or cut to. You want to describe at least two to three camera shots that, that follow in a sequence and use brackets. It's very important. Example, after you've laid your foundation, you say, bracket, white shot, she steps off a curb as reflections shimmer on the wet pavement. Tracking shot, the camera follows her from behind as she walks under flickering street lights. Close up, raindrops slide down her cheek as she looks up at the glowing sign. This helps the model visualize movement, composition, and continuity. It's, it's basically like giving it a shot list from a film set. Now, step number three, you lock in the style. You keep everything in the same visual world. Don't start in a dark, gloomy, neon city, and then you end up in a dreamy fairy tale forest. The vibe has to stay consistent throughout the prompt. And what I usually do is that I add a little note at the very end to tie it all together. For example, I say realistic style, handheld camera, soft neon lighting. And that's enough to give the model a direction without overwhelming it. Sometimes I add the word multiple shot or multi shot in the very beginning of the prompt to let the model know explicitly that that's what I'm looking for. Step number four, we put it all together. And this is what our final prompt looks like. Multiple shots. A woman walks along through a rainy city at night. She steps off a curb as reflections shimmer on the wet pavement. The camera follows her from behind as she walks under flickering street lights. Raindrops slide down her cheek as she looks up at a glowing sign. Realistic style, handheld camera feel, soft neon lighting. And again, we make sure that we add all the brackets in between to let the model know, are we cutting? Are we tracking? Is it a close-up shot? What about it, right? So let's copy this and let's go over and paste this prompt inside our text to video generator. Set the length to 10 seconds and hit generate. Boom, <laughs> phenomenal. What the hell, guys? This is good. Let me show you some more examples I've generated with prompts following this exact same framework. You can do the exact same thing with image to video, just in this case, well, your prompt has to be following the visual style of your image. It cannot be too far off because otherwise you'll, you'll get bad results. I've attached the link to a free PDF that will help you structure your prompt for multi-shot consistency. And that's how you get multi-shot consistency with AI, with no fancy tools, no guesswork, no comfy UI, just smart prompting. If you're serious about creating cinematic AI videos that actually make sense shot to shot, this is the workflow you need to master today. I'll drop more prompt examples and breakdowns soon, so make sure to follow if you do not want to miss that. And hey, if you try this out, send me some of your work, send me something that you made. I want to see what you're cooking up. I'll catch you up on the next one, and remember, create without limits, my friend. This is Serio.